more flexible. You should be open to the idea that what looks like one thing might just be a small part of something completely different. The outside shape doesn't always give you a good idea of what's inside. <laughs> just like that. Well, I think that according to legend, the tangram happened when someone dropped a square tile and it broke into seven pieces. When he tried to put them back together, he discovered that he could shape it into many different things. Well, if it weren't for that, wouldn't the tile just be a boring tile like all the other tiles? But because of what happened, it's now a famous puzzle that's been seen across the world. Sometimes, in order to find a greater purpose, you have to be broken first. I don't think we get the luxury of choosing what happens to us. I never said that. We don't get to decide what happens to us, but we can always decide how to respond to it. A lot nicer than police custody, though. Confessions can be recanted. It's best to have the most solid case possible in situations like this. I'm sure they'll use my brother, too. But the fact remains that you're the one who solved the case. That makes you the strongest witness they have. You'd be surprised what expensive lawyers are capable of doing. We need the most airtight case possible. Miko might seem like a relaxed guy, but he's thorough. Yeah, Miko Lajgurski. You think so? Anyway, you should thank me for convincing him to let you stay with us. With us, you get a nice bed, good food, and... Aki, I got the coffee! Coffee.
That's Lee May for you. She's a quiet child. Hmm, quiet child. Quiet? Anyway, there's too much going on in her head, so it's a little hard on her to maintain conversations. Exactly. It's a little more complicated than that. Why don't we talk about it on the way there? To speak with our client, of course. Glad you're awake. Did you enjoy your sleep? <laughs> At least you're honest. Should we have gotten you something stronger than a triple shot? We have a long way to go to meet with our client, and he's the sort of guy who will get very fussy if we're late. I suppose I can't blame you. You're not the only one with questions, though. In fact, you're a pretty big question mark yourself. Let's make a deal, shall we? You ask a question, then I ask a question. We'll trade answers. A small estate out in the countryside. It belongs to one Mr. William Otten. Got it in one. Yep. Well, until she was murdered, that is. We reported to him yesterday about what happened. the fact that Miss Bergstrom claimed the third party was also interested in the information. He didn't sound too happy about that, so he ordered us to come see him today and give a full report in person. I can't blame him. His entire company is at stake here. I hope you don't mind coming with us. Since you were there yesterday, it seems only natural to bring you along. that he rarely leaves his house, conducting most meetings via satellite. Rich people are eccentric. Comes with a job description, I think. Maybe it is. Okay, my turn. What's your name? how suspicious it makes you look when you hide it, right? Then 
things are only as complicated as you want them to be, but I respect your privacy. We're going to have to call you something, though. Is Khan guy okay? Roughly translated, it means strong emotions. It's sort of a play on Kansei. We call the ability to feel other people's emotions Kansei. It's like a super sensitivity. Since you have a type of Kansei, we can call you Khan guy. Khan guy. Get it? I never claim to be good at picking names. I'll see what I can do. Is that your next question? We may never complain about it. Now that's definitely a new question. Agency. Our work isn't always as exciting as corporate espionage and murder. More often than not, we're just snapping photos of cheating lovers. As for why the police trust us, that's sort of a weird story. That's for another question, though. Alright, next question. Where are you from, anyway? I'd rather you don't lie about it. Nico told me about it. Yesterday you told him that you were from LA, but when he asked you about precincts, you didn't correct him. In Los Angeles, police work districts, not precincts. I'm surprised he didn't cuff you on the spot for lying to him. Actually, no I'm not. have a sort of Kansei like you do. We can all sense thoughts and feelings to some extent. Li Mei's Kansei is probably the purest form of them all. She experiences the emotions of everyone around her. Everyone. If you're happy, she's happy. If you're sad, she's sad. Everyone else's emotions are constantly streaming into her mind. She has to spend a lot of her energy sorting out which feelings are hers and which aren't. Los Angeles. Oh, am I really that predictable? Not going to answer. What? Here. Years. I suppose that makes sense. We've only been here for two years. I guess that was my question. Your turn. We 
stop the assassination of a visiting dignitary? Everyone makes a big deal about it, but it was sort of a fluke. Naoki was trailing a businessman and secretary who were <clears throat> putting in extra hours at an expensive hotel. He saw the assassin, thought it was suspicious, and called me in. We intercepted the assassin, saved the day, and apparently that makes us trustworthy heroes. Seriously. So, you're the boy with a kansei that allows you to experience the final moments of any dead body you touch. You should be used to the ridiculous by now. You missed it. Noticed. I guess we're almost there. Yep, just a few minutes now. Anyway, what were we talking about? Right, Mr. Otten. He's one of those self-made men you hear about all the time, built Otten Engineering himself from the ground up. But he's also ridiculously secretive. No interviews, hardly any TV appearances. His assistant, Sophia Millerson, does most of that. 